Hey guys, Maniacs, how you doing? Just want to give you a little bit of an update. I know uh, we've been pretty quiet on the channel the last few months, but we were working on a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we have got our own TV show launching on the Sportsman's Channel uh, early February. Lots of new content, hunting, fishing, all that crazy stuff you Maniacs love. And if you want to check that out, obviously all the details are going to be on HuntFishManiac.com. Um, we've got lots of new merch out, hats, shirts, sweaters, all that kind of stuff. Thank you for the support. Like the channel. We'll see you soon. How's it going, guys? Huntfish Maniac here again. Today I'm going to do a catch and cook for you. I'm up in the Yukon. I'm on my annual moose hunt. It's a fly-in. I'm 150 miles from the nearest road. Absolutely beautiful lake, full of lake trout and arctic grayling. I got my fly rod with me. I got my three weight, a couple black fly mosquito patterns, floating line. Just gonna hike up the shoreline, find myself a nice swamp, little creek that comes in and, and see if I can get some grayling for lunch. Just popped up onto a nice little swamp. As you can see, it just dumps right into the lake here. Great spot for the grayling. Uh, the lake trout will be there feeding on the grayling as well, but we're in late September. So definitely before winter, you know, these, these Arctic grayling are going to definitely be up by these creek mouths, all, getting anything that's dumping out of this swamp, flies, insects, nymphs, all that kind of stuff. Going to try this creek right here and uh, see if there's some grayling around. That's about a 12 inch. That is a nice fish. Okay guys, we caught a couple, I killed a couple, and we're gonna head back now, make a fire, and get some of these cooking for lunch. Whenever I'm out in the bush, cabbage is a must. Super hardy, doesn't get bruised, can withstand, you know, cold, hot, doesn't really matter. It's super good. A moment of truth. <laughs> mm. That unbelievable. <laughs> 